Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly and let's take a look at the choose function in Excel. Now the choose function is an extremely good function for creating scenarios in Excel. Let's take a look at a case here. So let's say our base year revenue is 100 and we want to project the future starting from 2017 up till 2022. Now the growth on 100 is going to be dependent on the user that does he want an aggressive growth or a moderate growth or a slow growth. And we have different percentages of growth depending upon whatever he or she chooses. And if he chooses, let's say one, we should apply aggressive. If he chooses two, we should apply 15%. If he uh, chooses slow growth, we should apply 8% growth on the base here. Let's see how can we do that using a choose formula. So I'm going to write equals to choose equals to choose. The first thing in the choose formula is the index number. In simple terms, the index number means that what is the number of your choice, right? Uh, so is your choice one, is your choice two, is your choice three, depending upon the choice number, it's going to apply the scenario. So let's say uh, I am writing my choice number, you could just write one, two or three here, sorry, one, uh, or you could write two, or you could write three here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to link the choice number here, right? So that it always picks up the choice number from here. And after that, it asks you for value one. So uh, this is my first value. This is my second value. And this is my third value. I close the bracket. Now, please take a note that, that uh, how will the choose formula get to know that if you choose one here, it has to apply 25%. How will the choose formula know that if you write two here, it has to apply 15%. And in case of three, it has, uh, has to apply 8%. The reason why it gets to know is because 25% comes first, 15% comes second and 8% comes third. When you're writing the choose formula, that's how it, it is able to decide here. So if you just take a look, this is value one. That means it is scenario one. This is value two. That means it is scenario two. It will be applied in case you write two here. And this is value three in case you write three here. So now I'm just also going to log these cells because uh, all of the data is kept here. So I'm pressing F4, pressing the F4 here and pressing the F4 here as well. Press enter. As of now, it's going to give me an error because the place where I have to choose from is empty. I'm just going to close that some notifications. All right. So let's say I'm just going, this is empty. So I'm just going to write one. As soon as it sees one, it's going to pick up the first value that you wrote and it is going to write 0.3. So I think this is 0.25. I'm just going to increase the decimal places and you can see 0.25. You can see that. All right. And now I'm just going to drag it to, to the right hand side and you can just see that 0.25 everywhere. And if I write two, it's going to say 0.15, right? So it's going inside the choose formula, taking the input from here, and then it is jumping onto the second scenario. If the value is three, it's, it will jump onto the third scenario. So the in order in the in which you specify the values here, it decides the order of the scenarios in that way. And the first input is your choice number. All right, now I have to apply the growth rate. So all I have to do is um, I have to take the cell previous to that, multiply it with one plus the growth rate. That's the formula. Close the bracket, press enter, and I drag the formula to the right. And I get the values here. So if I, let's say, write one here, I get uh, my growth rate is very, very aggressive. You reach up till 381. If I write three here, I will reach only 158 because the growth rate is very slow. Alternatively, you could also have written the choose formula here at the bottom of it. So I equals to, let's say, choose, choose from here, lock that. If the choice is one, do this. If the choice is two, do this. If the choice is three, do this. And uh, I'm just going to lock all of these values, lock them and then drag it to the right hand side and then link that. Right now, if you write two here, this is going to give you 15%. If you write one here, it's going to give you 25%. And then you could have done this formula by linking to this cell. So that was the choose formula. Now let's take a look at um, uh, a case here. So let's say, for example, you have the revenue here and uh, you in the chart, you either want to show the gross profit or you want to show the net profit. So one stands for gross profit, two stands for net profit. And we're going to do that by using the choose function. So I'm going to write equals to choose. So choose the first thing that it's asking me for an index number. Index number is nothing but your choice number. And Excel can pick up your choice number from this cell, right? Lock that. And if your choice number is one, please pick up this value. 
sorry this value this is for gross profit and if your choice number is two please pick up this value close the value and press enter now as of now since you have chosen two it's going to pick up net profit and if you drag the formula to the right hand side since you have not logged this and this it is also going to pick up these values right so i'm just going to drag it to the right hand side and it picks up the values just uh, just we'll convert it into a single decimal place okay now let's say if i write the choice number as one it's going to pick up gross profit if i write the choice number as two i pick up the net profit let's make a chart from this so i'm going to select revenue press alt f1 to make a chart and uh, then pick up the gross pro net profit copy that and paste it into the chart right here and i'm also going to activate the legends for the chart and uh, just bring it actually all right let's keep the chart actually here and let's take a look so now if i press one here one stands for gross profit now my revenue is compared against the gross profit and take a look that this will now automatically change the gross profit and your chart will also automatically change and if you press two here this will give you the net profit and this will be updated to net net profit and this will go inside the chart and your chart will be automatically updated here so that was the choose choose function and a bit of application of that uh, I hope you liked the video. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching this, and you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.